Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. So your girl is on the hunt. I've been dying to smell these brand new Tom Ford fragrances. So I pulled up on Shore Hills Mall and we're on the hunt to find them to A, smell them, and B, see if I can finagle a little sample so I can, you know, make some decisions <laughs> if I wanna buy it or add it to my collection. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe. Make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Are you ready for the adventure? Let's go. All right, guys, we have it. All right, I have it on my skin. First up, Electric Cherry. It's almost like Hawaiian Punch with a little something extra in it. Not liquor, but definitely they're, they're a cousin to Lost Cherry. And then with Cherry Smoke, I get a lot of leather. A lot of leather on my skin with this one. So we're gonna see how it goes. But yeah, so far it's, Lost Cherry is always going to be number one. Electric and Cherry Smoke. So that's my lineup right now. Your girl had to get up out of there because the people, oh, oh, they was trying me. They were trying me. But anyway, we're here for Timmy Tom Tom, not for them. All right, so starting off with Cherry Smoke. Now I went into it thinking, okay, this is going to be hella masculine. So it's probably not going to be my vibe because the main complaint when it comes to the fellas is that you know uh lost cherry isn't like super duper masculine so i was like oh this is this one is going to be for the fellas i think this is pretty unisex it's pretty unisex but do i like it it's okay i get a ton of leather on my skin i mean leather sometimes we i feel like that's just a masculine note like i mean if it's done right it's cool but yeah that cherry i don't smell cherry at all like not even the, a droplet of the cherry so i'm like okay that that's cool so then moving on to electric cherry electric cherry again that cherry she dies off very quickly so i'm like okay cool but it does give me like hawaiian punch kind of vibes i don't know why but that's exactly what I smelt when I first like smelled it but it was just like what the fuck did I just say <laughs> what I smelt when I smelt it I can't y'all get it but like this is youthful a little vibrant it's electric boogie yuggy yuggy like it's cool but you know I'm not in love with this one either so out of the three lost cherry is still the goat for me I still love that one that's still number one but if I had to choose a second right now, ooh, they just got your spot, sir. I'm in parking wars right now. Everybody's at the mall, hence why I had to leave. So somebody was trying to back up so the other car can back out. And then from the other side, as soon as they backed out, someone else from the other side just pulled into their spot. Ooh, I know you mad. Mm, damn, hate to see it. But anywho, back, back to the fragrance, girl. So electric cherry, I mean, it's... <sighs> It's vibrant, it's 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 whatever for me. And I'm so mad because had I brought my vials, I completely forgot it. But um, I have went to one of the counters in Bloomingdale's is across, oh my God, it's all the way across the mall, Jesus. From Neiman's to Bloomingdale's, I swear, it's like a 5K run. But the woman in there was so freaking nice. And had I had my vials, she would have gave me samples on site. And I was like, damn, I didn't get it. But you know what, it's cool because to be honest with y'all, I don't think I would reach for any one of them if they had it, if I had it in my collection. Uh -uh. Nope, move it along. I'm recording in my car and of course I'm facing like people so people keep check like, checking if I'm leaving. Nope, I will leave when I want to. But anywho, but um, yeah, she would have gave me a, a, a little sample of it. I was like, God damn it. The one time I actually forget my vials, this is what happened. When I was in Neiman Marcus, cause I hit that one first, the uh, associate in there she was hella nice to me too but she was like your skin holds fragrances really well she was like i've been doing this for 15 years she was like the way these fragrances in particular these two tom fords she was like the way they smell on your on my skin is how the fragrance is meant to be like smelt or 
y'all y'all get it so i was like oh she bigging me up <laughs> i got that good skin that good moisturized skin but she was like you know sometimes people's you know um you know skin chemistry isn't that great because she actually like took my hands like that and she sniffed them she was like that's how they're they're meant to be like smelt and hoes Thank you. As far as like projection, I can't speak on it too much, but as I'm waving my hands right now, cherry smoke, I definitely smell that one a lot more than electric cherry. Like I wasn't expecting electric cherry to like really, you know, waft and do all, you know, it's ones and twos. But I, I had a feeling that cherry smoke was gonna, you know, linger around just a little bit longer. But as far as the cherry notes in general, all three of them, they, they're gone within minutes. I think Lost Cherry is the most cherry lasting of the three. These two, in, in a few minutes, it, it dies off on the cherry because I feel like I get more jasmine than anything with electric, um, electric cherry and more leather than anything with cherry smoke. So I'm gonna still let it marinate, do what it do, and do my little final update. But so far, I don't need either one in my collection. I probably wouldn't even pick this up out, out of the, um... no, I'm lying. If this did end up in a cosmetic company store, I might, I might get it. But ooh, child, I did just smell uh, Vanilla Fatal. Love it, absolutely love it. Cause it's always empty. And this was the first time I actually seen the bottle and it has some juice in it so vanilla fatal though that that's come out the winner <laughs> so let's see how these marinate and i'll call you back girl right. i almost forgot about y'all but your girl is back uh, it's like eight o'clock at night so here's my final thoughts on this so in regards to the cherry note let's talk about that real quick i do feel like all of the cherries within all three fragrances are completely different. Lost Cherry is more of like a liqueur cherry. Um, electric Cherry is more like a maraschino cherry, you know, that bright red. And then with Cherry Smoke, I feel like that is like one of the dark, like black cherry kind of sour type vibes. So they're all different types of cherry, but they're still kind of related because they're cherries. So as far as that goes, that's what they have in common, but not really. So after this dry down, cherry smoke, still very much so leather on my skin. I'm That's all I can smell is leather. Now, I do feel like it is feminine enough where a woman can wear it. As long as you wanna lean into your masculinity, sis, go off. I do like that. So I, I do like cherry smoke for its individuality. And it's more fitting to the Tom Ford line. Now, when it comes to electric cherry, I still feel like it's 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 not super young, but this one definitely jasmine. It's a jasmine fragrance. Let's call a spade a spade. This dry down, absolutely jasmine. That's all I can smell on my skin and it's really pretty i actually prefer the dry down of this versus the opening the opening i was just like mm, do i really like it it's cool like okay kool-aid but yeah as far as a tom ford fragrance i feel like you get a tom ford fragrance more so with cherry smoke than electric cherry because if you actually look at the whole lineup electric cherry is just like what are you doing here like who invited you to the party like you're a little too young amongst adults <laughs> okay so that's the vibe i get with electric cherry it's still really nice i love the dry down i love the jasmine but it's a jasmine fragrance that cherry lasts for 2.5 seconds that's it that's all I got. That's all they're giving you. <laughs> they're both, well, actually all three of them are really much so like lost cherry because the cherry gets lost so quickly. But which one I would add to my collection? Actually, none. I wouldn't add, uh, uh, nope. 
I'm going to stick beside <laughs> Lost Cherry. That is my one. But out of the two, I like Smoke Cherry because it's got a little more character to it. But I like the Jasmine Dry Down of Electric. So, yeah, neither one of them are like worthy of my collection. <laughs> like they're, they're not coming up in here unless it's gifted to me. And I'm pretty sure if I'm asking for a gift, it ain't gonna be these. Maybe this is an Estee Lauder release because you know, Timmy Tom Tom, he, he got his billions and he's good. That's, yeah, that's, that's my suspicion. Cherry Smoke was, you know, in, in the interwebs for a, a minute before that billion dollar release happened, uh, the, the buyout. But then all of a sudden, poof, Electric Cherry, she comes up in the room. I feel like Electric Cherry is a Estee Lauder production, to be honest with you, because it came out of nowhere and nobody really knew about it until like a couple of days before the launch. Like, Electric, oh, where'd you come from? We were all ready, like, anticipating, you know, uh, Cherry Smoke. So I feel like Tom may have had his hands in, you know, Cherry Smoke. And he was like, all right, B, I'm out. And just left it as, <laughs> as is. And then Estee Lauder was like, you know what? The girls love the cherry right now. So let's throw this foo la in the mix. That's my theory. Comment down below if you agree with me or not. But both of them, it's a miss for me. I don't foresee myself like getting it in my collection. I won't miss it. I won't yearn for it. But I do wonder if you could mix Lost Cherry on top of Cherry Smoke. That might be a bop. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna update you on uh, Instagram because I don't feel like recording no more. But maybe if I layer, that might be a vibe. So yeah, I wish it was more. But um, it's kind of what was expected. But then at this price point, we need more. We definitely need more if y'all go and shell out $400. I'm not shelling out $400, but if you are, good for you. But me? No, ma'am. So check out some of my other videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, girl.